Welcome back to NCG Reptiles and today we're going to talk about our female crested gecko and her crazy behavior. Yep. All right, guys. I'm going to show you the situation right now. It's so crazy and so bizarre, but here, let me get a, a close up so you can see what she looks like. This is our girl. She's our cold fusion girl. She was on our video before and she uh, fires down to this beautiful blue color. Uh, she's kind of mid-fire. She kind of got a misfire right now. All right, let me show you guys what's going on right now <laughs> so that this video is not too long and you guys can enjoy what what uh, has been going on with this girl. All right, all right, let, let's show you. Let me put her in her cage. Hopefully she cooperates. I'm gonna put her in here. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but hopefully she'll hang out for the video. Eh, it looks like she wouldn't hide. All right, let me adjust this for you guys. Let me... All right, guys, so this is what is happening. <laughs> Let me show you. So she has this lay box right here, okay? This is her lay box. Typical, nothing nothing too crazy fancy. I'll make another video where I got it from and how I made the hole. Uh, but for right now, <laughs> I'm going to let you know what's going on. And so over here I have above her lay box... I have her food bowls, okay? And it's one of the magnetic ones. And these are her little food bowls, okay? And you're like, what's this video all about, guys? Why are you showing me food bowls in the lay box but you're not explaining to me anything else? All right, let me show you what's going on. So her food bowl is there and her lay box is here. So every single day when I would come and look over her, her, her cage or her enclosure, I would see, I would see this. Let me demonstrate for you. Not one food bowl. <laughs> Not two food bowls. But I see I could barely get those in there. But all three of her food bowls would be inside here, right? And so I'm like, man, this gecko is really good at playing golf or basketball or something uh, because I would come back and I get, and those food bowls would be inside here. So I was thinking, I was like, okay, it's because when she's eating, she's probably crawling up on here and then whatever's happening, the food bowls are falling inside just like that, right? See, I got it in there. I said, maybe she's eating this, she's looking around and bam, the other one falls in there. So I was like, okay, cool. That's what's happening. Like mystery solved. So I was like, all right, so I'm tired of trying to dig her little food bowls out. So what I did was, I'm like, all right, I don't want to have to dig them out anymore. So I took the magnets off. This is what I use for magnet. And I moved it to the other side over here, just like this. I'm showing you guys exactly what I did. All right, I took her, her magnetic tray. And I put it over there. Oh, hit the camera. Sorry. And so I put the food bowls there. Put the food bowls there. And voila. Problem solved. I said if I find the food bowls, they'll be hanging out down here. Oh, hold on. So I said if I if she drops the food bowls um, from her her feeder thing, it'll it'll fall right here, and I could just grab them and clean them, do whatever I do as normal, right? But guess what? Woke up the next day. Boop. Food bowl. From the other side of the tank. All the way over here. Food bowl. Over here. <laughs> Food bowl. I'm like, what? That can't be. That's impossible. So I was like, okay, that was a fluke. Maybe I was tired that night and I, and I didn't move the food bowls out and I left them in there and I'm just going crazy. You see where she's at? She's still there? There she is. All right. All right. So, this is the following day, food bowl there again. Okay. So now I'm not, I am going crazy, but I'm not crazy. So, this is actually really happening. This gecko, I'm going to show you right here. This girl is somehow taking the food bowls and getting them inside the hole that barely fits in the top. 
Let me see if I can pull just the top off so you guys can see. This is the top, right? Look at, look at the space. This food bowl has to go to get into the hole. Like it's barely able to even go in there. Like, how is she gonna get it from the opposite side of the tank into over here? Okay, so the mystery, I'm letting, I'm, I'm just talking and rambling so you guys could kind of think about what you think is happening because this could be a very fast video. So I could just kind of drag that on so you guys, so think about it for a second. How in the world is this gecko getting the food bowls from the completely opposite side of the tank into a very, very tight spot? Like, I can say what I thought, but I'm going to let you guys come to your conclusion. But I went down to the store and I bought a camera, a night camera. And I set this camera up for you guys. And the mystery has been solved, all right? I'm gonna play the clip right now. This is what is happening as we speak, right? Like, you can see her setting, <laughs> setting herself up. And uh, you can see exactly how she's put it in. So now I don't know how I'm going to edit this video. So I'm just going to play the clip and uh, let you guys see what's going on. And hopefully, uh, I don't know if you're going to hear my voice over during this, but uh, you let me know <laughs> if you've ever seen a gecko actually do what she just did. Like, like what kind of behavior is that? Like, like, is she like covering her little her her little door, making a little door so no other gecko could go into her lay box? Is she like covering, like protecting it or camouflaging it? Is she like knowing that this is where her food goes? She's supplying a little food for her for her baby gecko when it gets when it hatches, like it has food ready to go. <laughs> is she claiming this as her own? Like she doesn't want anybody else to eat out of her food bowl? Like. What is she doing, guys? Like, this is like behavior that I, I I haven't really seen. I mean, I've seen another gecko and I've seen cups inside there, but this is constant. This is every night. Like, she's purposely doing this, and you can see from the video clips <laughs> how bizarre she's doing it. So I'm not trying to say much right now. I, I just hopefully you guys, when you see this that clip, that it it is uh, pretty remarkable. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my super gecko. <laughs> and I hope you guys got a kick out of this one. Uh, it was kind of a fun little, uh, uh, a little bit of a fun one for me to do in, in video. Uh, I'm going to do some more here. Let me let me put this up. <laughs> I'm going to do some more of these uh, 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 gecko clips, uh, live video cam. I think it's kind of fun, and you can see how the the, the behaviors of the geckos. <laughs> Once you think you know and you got it and you've seen everything. Uh, here we go, I got to show you something that's new. Uh, the other, she does another crazy thing. I don't know if she'll do it right now. She does another funny thing. All right, we'll, we'll let her be. But thank you for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I thought it was really cool to see how this gecko got that food bowl inside her lay box over and over again. Like, a, like she was playing golf or basketball. I thought it was great. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Over and out. Thank you very much. Bye.